Hi everyone, it's Eric Lynch from Flywheel Studio here with a very fun tutorial that I enjoyed putting together. It's remarkably simple, and this is how to put folders and a file system together on Adalo. So it's actually easier than I thought, and there's some of this I have figured out, some of this I haven't tried yet, but let me walk through what I did here, and then I'll tell you how you can improve that, and maybe some other ways this can work. That let's start with our database collections. This is pretty much what we always start with. Every folder we've given it a name and it has a parent. Now, the way that I design this is that there's different levels and I'll go through kind of all this naming and stuff, but at the desktop folder level, there will be no parent, okay? And then we use this relationship for the rest of these, okay? And let's go through this. I think it'll make more sense as I walk through it, but the first level is your desk desktop. And what I did to just limit what is showing here um, is I just said the, that the, um, the parent is going to be blank. Okay, so the parent name for every folder on here has to be equal to empty. And that gives us all of the first level folders. And then what we did is we just filtered the rest of these levels. Um, by saying that the current folder that you're going through, um, the parent name has to match that current folder name. And we did that for three different levels. And I created two forms here so that we can create um, different folders. This first one, all we're doing is just creating a name and we're leaving that parent field blank. In the future though, or kind of down the line here in these other levels, um, we add the current folder name to the parent, and that way we can um, maintain that folder structure. So let's look at this uh, in preview, and then I think it will make a little bit more sense. So I have two folders here, desktop folder one, desktop folder two. Let's create another one. We'll call this D3. Okay, and we can see that there. So if we go into D3, okay, so this is level two folder D3, you can see there's nothing here. We don't have any folders, but let's add one. So I'm gonna call this D3L2 for second level, okay? And now we can see that and we can click into this and we'll go into level three D3L2. Again, no folders here because we haven't created any. But let's go back and exit out of this and go to, let's try desktop folder two. Okay, so we can see D2L2, okay? And if we go into this, we have D2L3, okay? These are folders that I've already created. That's basically it. Um, so what you could do now is you could have a file collection or an image collection, whatever you want, and you can host those at this level and tie them to the folders. So the folders would kind of be on top and then they would be over here underneath that. Um, that's probably the easiest way to do it. That's what I would try and do is not try and do it the exact same way where files and folders are the same thing. I'd try and keep them separate, but you can figure that out on your own. Um, a few other things you can do is you definitely can add an owner to this. So somebody who created it and you could limit access or visibility based off of that. You could also add a relationship to users so that people could only see folders, folders that have been added to. There's tons of different things you can do here, but it was surprisingly simple to make this. So I'm excited to see what else you make and uh, what you guys can do with this. If this video was helpful for you, please do give it a like or subscribe. That does help me out, and that helps everyone in the Adalo community find videos easier um, so that they can you know, solve their problems faster. And if you like videos like this and my other work, uh, definitely check out Nodalo. That's where we build all this stuff from scratch and really teach you everything there is to know about Adalo. Uh, it's a lot more detailed than these videos, so hopefully that helps. Thanks.